Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Hustle League Round of Eight. Raj versus Blackman aka SOS Toss. I'm not sure why I chose the Blackman moniker. There's Blackman PL out there aka Julia who uh, plays Zerg uh, and gives Artosis a lot of razzing and fun out there. I do want to give a quick shout out to LML who is very responsible for getting all the replay, basically doing all the wrangling for all of this. I believe the round of eight is entirely best of five, by the way. We're starting off on retro. Upper left hand corner, we got Raj starting as the black Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have SOS Toss starting as the purple Protoss. So PvP here to start. Letting you guys know who made it in the round of eight because there was a lot of missing replays across the board. We got Bug, we got Tucson, we got Biagster, we have White, we have Klauso, who we didn't see a replay of. I'm not very familiar with Klauso, so I'll be interested to see Klauso's play. And then we have Kiko, who I'm excited to see, because Kiko is, it looks like we're going to see a first scout from Blackman after Pylon upper left, which leads me to believe we might see a double gate. Or even a, we'll see if it's even a 14. One interesting thing is, is when you get the probe scout out, oh, look at this, even clever from Blackman, adjusting the scouting pattern a little bit. Oh, never mind, that was just... Just kidding. For a second there, I thought this is because of the architecture going out a little bit. This Raj should know to go bottom left in response to this. You have a gateway towards the front. One gateway down. And let's see if there's a gas tacked on both ends. This is not a it's not a gigantic map on retro. It's four player. Looks like Raj not noticing the pathing of that probe. And we do have a manor pile on it, looks like. Locking at least a probe out. We are seeing a double gateway opener here. And let's see if Black Man, with the Manor Pylon and everything else, goes for a gas follow-up. So we got the one gateway down and warping in. We don't have any movement one way or the other. Never mind, there's the Assimilator. Who, did I, who am I missing? Kiko, Raj, and then these two. So that, those are your eight players. I feel like there's a little bit of a scattered opening here to this one, but hopefully you guys got the, the, um, the gist of it. By the way, Do Life was being replaced by SOS Toss, who I'm not sure how that was determined. But, uh, yeah, it was determined. First Zealot constructed, second Zealot potentially on the way. Raj still, despite going for the two gate opener, does not have information as to where to, se where to send those initial Zealots. And he's got this problem of this pylon. So initial Zealot going to go to that corner. We also have Blackman SOS Toss hiding that. It looks like shield battery defense with gateway. An additional pylon, no cybernetic score as of yet. So we'll see the defense. This, so the initial zealot and a probe. Looks like one probe was able to trick his way out of that. And very, yeah, able to see the assimilator follow-up. And now the probe descending down to maybe interrupt and create some distraction for those three zealots. This probe on the opposite end, not going to be able to get the scouting information. But at the very least, going to see a zealot on the ramp defending. And right now, I'm going to say that SOS Toss is in a pretty good position as far as all this goes. It looks like 7 next score dropping. That shield battery's a little bit out of the way, but the two Zealots, and no third on the way, actually, interestingly enough. <clears throat> third Zealot should be produced with this late a cybernetic score, to be honest. Uh, and that is a little bit concerning, but maybe the shield battery will be sufficient. And ooh, one Zealot getting out of the way here. So one Zealot able to walk in. So what I thought might be an okay defensive situation might be actually disastrous now so it's now one versus two the shield battery is now out of the equation because that ramp was not held i'm gonna chalk that one up to tournament nerves one probe down zealots engaging zealots here and the problem for these two zealots is even with the standing and fighting situation they still don't win because it's still three versus two so now shifting one of them exiting oh the other one taking some very a lot of base damage a third zealot now getting queued up but too late and that's three probes down blackman now at an economic disadvantage and again going to end up losing that zealot. So three zealots with a lot of health are going to be able to feast on that probe line. A lot of the probes gathering up and that's delayed mining time. And we're seeing a surge of unspent minerals behind this. And another zealot getting wiped out. A decent probe drill right there to create some disruption. So a couple zealots taken care of. One left with not a lot of health. But at the end of the day, that's three workers up. Ten supply lead for Raj and a slew of spare resources for Black Man to spend. Settle of a Dune instantly getting dropped. Is the Zealot going to be able to turn around and spot it? No. Probe looks like it was out on Tag Command. Checking top right. There's already a probe there. I'm not sure what happened with that. A lot of Dragoons being produced. 
and range. Like, this is interesting. Usually with 2-gate, you don't end up with a superior Dragoon count like this. You usually end up with defensive Dragoons. Forge getting dropped. Two additional gateways. So this is emergency mode now for Blackman. Or SOS toss. And as long as this is 2-gate Robo, Observatory, then Support Bay, it will be... A, well, first of all, we got a huge worker lead. It should be an easy situation. And there's this, the robotics. And are we going up to 4-gate? We're going up to 4-gate. Interesting. So 4-gate... So this is where I thought this might be DTs. This is, in fact, more likely going to be plus 1 Zelt leg speed. So there's the Zelt leg speed queuing up off the 4-gates. And SOS Toss blocking the way to try to hide that information. But we got a bunch of Dragoons making their way towards that natural expansion to check out the situation. With only one Dragoon on the high ground... That could be problematic, and those Zealots might get revealed sooner rather than later. So the probe going to get wiped out. And honestly, this is not enough Dragoons. Oh, this is disastrous. Not enough Dragoons to really defend this. And so just a single Dragoon. Yeah, I'm walking down to try to engage this. But the Zealot's going to get wiped out. There's only one. Oh, man. And another breach of the ramp. So now the Dragoon's going to be able to walk in. They're going to spot the foregate. And this should be uh, Zealots queued up. A defensive photon cannon being built, but that's... A cannon being built right the second, which isn't sufficient. So now, yeah, GG for SOS toss. That's unfortunate. So kind of a a disastrous breach on the ramp. A forgotten zealot, and that is all she wrote. Raj going to take game one. I do want to comment that Raj, a very, very talented player, and definitely one of these guys who could go all the way to the finals. As far as really standout players here, I'm looking at Tucson, Raj, and Kiko in particular. I could see any of those three uh, in the finals here. And right now, SOS toss down a game in the best of five finals. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for listening.